Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this week we're going to be setting up for March in my bullet journal and I was really inspired by my last release in my shop which were these origami stickers. So to set up for my title page I'm going to be using my Muji pen in 0.35. I am going to use a ruler because I wanted all of the lines to be really nice and straight as origami has those nice crisp edges so that's why I'm using a ruler. Normally I'm not that fussed about using a ruler, I don't mind the odd wonky line but when I'm trying to make it look like origami letters a ruler was definitely needed. And then for shading I'm using this Crayola in grey. And I'm just going to put a line kind of where the paper would be folded over and create a darker shadow. And then I'm going to be using another Crayola. This one is a crayon and it's one of the twisty up ones. It's a silly scent. It smells like coconut. It's amazing to use. I really like these. And I'm just going to add some shading, some lighter parts and some darker parts just to give it some more definition. And then at the top I decided to do a, a cloud, it's not really an origami cloud but I made it look a little bit like newspaper or some cardboard maybe from a cereal box or something and had it hanging there and then down at the bottom I just drew an origami boat which is probably the easiest thing to draw if you're trying to draw origami because these are the most well known shapes to draw. Then after I had shaded everything, that was it for my March setup page, title page even. Just simple. Then we're going to move on and start with our monthly calendar. So again, I'm dragging out my ruler and I'm just going to be drawing on the edges and creating the boxes on the inside. Now I'm just taking my Crayola felt tip pen in the grey still and I'm creating kind of folded pieces of paper around the edge because I wanted it to look like paper was overlapping it or kind of half wrapping it. Now I'm just grabbing my black Tombow brush pen and creating black boxes at the top. And if you hadn't guessed already, <laughs> these are going to be for the days of the week. And for that, I'm going to be using my Jelly Roll white pen in size 08 and just labeling these Monday to Sunday. Now I'm just grabbing the Crayola crayon again and shading the paper to look darker underneath and then a bit lighter on top and then also adding a shadow. To finish off the boxes on the calendar I've took my Muji pen again and I'm just creating a little fold over and then some lines underneath so it looks like these are a stack of little post-it notes that you rip off just to make the boxes look a little bit more cute and just not just plain squares and boom done done the dates we can move on to the next bit so up at the top i just wanted to put an m for march and again i'm taking my ruler because i wanted it to look like origami Again, I'm just adding some shading so it matches everything else that we have done. And then I'm going to be grabbing out my actual origami stickers, the reason that I chose this theme in the first place. And I'm just adding a few stickers just around in the blank spaces. The next page, or it's going to be a double page, is my kind of monthly trackers, something that I'm going to flip to pretty much throughout the whole entire month. 
So at the top here, I'm creating a post-it note again, and I've just added three little strings coming off and using some more of my origami stickers to make them look like they were hanging. And then I will use my Tombow brush pen to create a title. I've lost myself, sorry. I'm adding little bows. <laughs> Then I'm going to grab my Tombow brush pen and just add a little title box at the top here. And this section here is actually going to be for my shop. So it's things that I need to buy for my shop in March or that I know of already. So I just labelled it using my white jelly pen again, which is still in the size 08. And then I just doodled what I needed to buy. So I know I need to buy some envelopes, some sticker paper and some printer ink. And then down at the bottom, there's a few things that I want to track that aren't anything to do with my shop. They're just kind of personal trackers. So I've used the blank calendar boxes, which were from my shop. And I'm just going to label them on the side, again, using my Tombow black pen and then my white jelly pen to label them. And then on the other page, I wanted to create two monthly trackers. So I made these ones a lot larger and I'm just going to be creating another drop shadow behind each of the titles. So the top one is going to be for Instagram and then the bottom one is actually for Etsy. And for Instagram, I really only post Monday to Friday. I try not to do anything at a weekend, so I try to keep them clear. And then at the bottom it's for Etsy and obviously my shop's open seven days a week so I've just labelled that one Monday to Sunday. And then here I'm just doing a little drop shadow behind each box and then each row is going to be for how many weeks are in March. So it's just over four weeks so I've just labelled this weeks one to five. So I'm hoping this will make me more accountable because I'm rubbish at posting on Instagram. It's, it's just something I forget to do. I'm kind of on there and I'm always chatting to people and interacting with lots of people, but I just forget to actually post on <laughs> my own page. Silly, I know. Anyway, moving on to my quote page. I've sped this up a little bit because it took quite a bit of drawing. So I was drawing some pieces of paper that kind of fold up on itself and then turn into a, I was about to say butterfly, it's a bird, into a flying bird. And then the quote that I decided to go and do in the middle says, sometimes you just need to take the leap and build your wings on the way down. I thought this quote was really cute and it went with my theme really well this week. I think I need to start taking note of my quotes that I put in my bullet journal and actually start listening to them. <laughs> and then here I'm just adding some shading because you know, we've shaded everything, so we can't just leave this one blank. Now I'm just finishing it off with the Crayola. I think these are the super tips. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you have done for your March theme in your bullet journal. If you bullet journal, I'd love to know. Now we're moving on to my weekly spreads. So here comes the ruler and pen again, and it's a really easy, simple spread. They're literally just boxes. And I've just put a little black title and then wrote the days of the week on. And then the really large box here was for me to put this week's goals. Cause sometimes there's things that I want to do and I'm not sure what day that I'm going to be doing them or will end up doing them. So I thought it's good to have this here to say, this is what I want to do, but I don't mind what day gets done on. And then I'm just taking two of my origami stickers and placing them at the bottom. All of the weeks look the same, the only difference is they have a different sticker at the bottom. Thank you. 
And then for the last pages for March, I'm going to be using these build trackers and outgoing trackers. I've found these so useful since I've brought them into my shop. They definitely help me keep track of where I am throughout the month, which obviously is very handy. <laughs> And then at the top here, this is actually a kit in my shop. It's just the washi page. I think it was the bullet journal part two kit, um, but the washi matched my theme perfectly. So I decided just to use this at the top. Once I'd finished trimming off the excess, we're finished for March. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick flip through. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you like my theme for March. Like I said, let me know down below what you have done for March or what you're planning to do. Maybe you haven't done it yet. If you're wondering where my bullet journal came from, it was actually a gift, but I will link it down in the comments. I believe it came from Shen, so I'll find it and link it for you. As well as all of the pens, I will try and link them all as well in the description. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're having an amazing week so far and I will speak to you all next time. Bye guys.